Hey, Brian from Garage Room Hall. Today we are doing an oil change on my wife's 2021 Ford Bronco Sport, Big Ben Edition. Uh, actually had filmed the oil change the first one we did and I ended up knocking the oil pan all over the place. So I uh, got oil all over the floor, deciding that's not probably the best one that I wanna show you guys. So anyway, we're gonna we're try this over from the beginning. Um, we are using the full synthetic 520 oil for the uh for the bronco and it takes a ph3614 uh fram oil filter let me just get this set up over here so i can keep a good eye on what we are doing all right so underneath your vehicle you're going to have like this air dam which is actually really good it runs under the entire length of the bronco uh limits the amount of exposed areas that uh can potentially rust underneath the vehicle. So that's actually a great new feature that they've added to the, the Bronco Sport. And other than that, this is where your oil filter and your oil drain plug are gonna basically get access to. So please note, it's got this little tab here that's gonna keep this air dam from falling down on top of you. And you need a Torx 27 or a 30. And that's kind of like what that looks like. That's a torque set if you're not familiar with it. And uh, a little bit of an extension bar to kind of make things a little bit easier. But anyhow, what we're looking for is we are looking for all these little Torx bolts here. And they quickly and easily come out. And again, it's, it's an air dam and it helps air flow underneath the vehicle, making it more, more efficient, more fuel efficient, um, and it keeps out debris and spray and everything else from getting up into your, your, your engine compartment. Okay, so we almost have all these out. And there's a bunch of them. So it's definitely a good good quality air dam that they, that they have up in there. And then we have a couple more that are in the front here. You can see I got a handful of these already. So we'll put these down over here. And you're gonna need something called a, uh, kind of like a peg remover for these body pegs they have here. You have two on the other side. You basically just kind of scoop down into it. And then you can kind of remove that. And then there's one on this side. So if this is a newer vehicle, definitely is not like your, your older vehicles to change your oil on. Okay, then this the whole air dam, you basically, oh, I missed a peg right there. Our bolt railer. All right, now that's the last one. Okay, so. Basically, I'm going to slide this forward and pull gently down on the tab and forward, and then that's going to expose everything open to you. And we'll just put that down there. And you can see that's your older frame oil filter. And then this is your oil drain that's underneath here. Uh, this is your transmission if you've never seen the undercarriage of your vehicle. So that's what that is. And it gives you a kind of a wide opening of everything that you have in here component wise. And actually, I'm going to be doing a quick undercoating under this vehicle. So I'm going to leave this open and exposed. So I'm not going to be putting that panel back up again. But it's basically just kind of like the reverse part of the process. I'll kind of give you a quick overview on how that works. But let's get that oil plug. And I think, if I remember correctly, it's a 15. Yep. All right, so it's a 16 millimeter to loosen that up. Let's get our oil, little oil reservoir here. And this is where I went bad last time because I actually didn't empty that and I got oil all over the place. So we'll just get that going and we'll bring this up to the top. And 
push this over a little bit more. Okay. And that is your oil flowing, draining out. Loosen up this oil filter just a little bit. I gotta put a little bit of a wrench on that. Just about done. I'm gonna position this over here a little bit. And we're gonna get this oil filter out and drained. I'll just crack it. That's draining pretty good. And we'll just aim that down so it drains completely out. We'll get our new frame oil filter. And always make sure that you get a couple drips of oil, put it on that O-ring. So you make it definitely flow easier. Install easier, rather. All right, so we're gonna put this back up here. And twist that on. Just make it hand tight. It doesn't have to be torqued with a wrench or anything. And that's why I like these Fram Extra Guards. Because they give you that little grip on the outside of it. So you can definitely make sure you torque it down really well. Alright. I'm going to drop this down. And that's almost done draining. And a couple seconds more. And I'll put this drain plug back in. down and again you don't have to make it he-man tight just nice and snug all right and that is your quick and easy oil change on your new Bronco and again I'm gonna keep this down but for demonstration purposes I will show you how you put it back up again you're basically kind of like just slipping it back into place up here and you're going to have your tab so you kind of push up on that a little bit and then it's going to basically grip in and then you're going to put all your your screws back into place so just make sure you, you you're pretty thorough putting them all back and uh that's your air dam and again i'm just going to keep that loose because i'm going to bring it back up in the air when we're done and i'm going to give it a quick uh quick undercoating to just make sure that we prevent any more any more rust on these things and like I said this isn't bad this is just superficial but make sure that we get this last a long time so all right let's get this out of the way okay close my drawers And this is also a great opportunity to take to rotate your tires. It is a 20. All right, so you got a 20 millimeter. Hi, it's Brian. J, 
Jay, good. You guys doing construction mortgages yet? No. Do you guys offer a construction mortgage? I'd have to relay. I'm not like I said. I'm not a banker. I'd have to have Jeremiah reach out to see if that's what is that. Did he say no already? Uh, he said no on that. Okay, then I will go ahead and update our notes. Then my apologies, Brian. All right, buddy. Okay, Thanks, Jay. Today, all, right? all right, you too. Bye. All right, so. Anyway, we're going to rotate these tires around, and it's something that I recommend you doing every time you change your oil. And it's pretty simple to do. I'll show you how to do it. Obviously, having a lift makes it a heck of a lot easier. However, you can do it with a pair of jack stands as well. Lug nuts all over the place. This is going to be your oil tire. Brakes real quick. Put this back up here. on the ground. Put this one back on the front.
Man, I'm flying all over the place. All right. Get that tire. the air pressure up. I usually do about 38. Bring us all the way down. And sorry about that. A little bit of noise going on with that. Okay. Now, if you've ever been in the engine compartment, you can tell that there's something missing. They used to put a cover on the engine. I actually went to order one because I thought it was missing one. They actually told me that it, they do not put covers on them because it traps debris and leaves and, under, and stuff under here. And they found out that this was safer by leaving the motor exposed. So we'll just trust Ford in their wisdom and uh, go from there. But anyhow, use an extended funnel. We'll put that funnel in there. And then we'll grab our Pennzoil. Full synthetic oil and this takes five quarts so 
without trying to spill any, which I just spilled a drip. And as soon as you get it sideways to a certain degree, it will start flowing once you get the air traveling well. And you don't have to pour in all at once, just go nice and controlled. And you'll see how it kind of like starts going. If it's going to overflow, just count off a quick second. And then you can pour the rest of the, the oil in. That's it. I think that's my uh, my favorite oil. Anyway, thanks, Penn's Oil. And we'll let that drain down. All that does is your dipstick will pull that out and make sure that we have the oil level at the proper amount. And it's cool, it gives you these little little see-through bubbles on it I call them and you can tell if where your oil is exactly and hopefully the camera will pick it up and if it doesn't I apologize but so we are right at the full mark because all those little bubbles are filled in with the oil all right so we're good there and we're good with that and always take an opportunity to check the rest of your fluids make sure you put your oil cap back on and you want to check your brake fluid so you can kind of see through there. So that's full. And you want to come over here to your coolant. This is your overspill. And you'll see the max line right there. So that looks good. This is your washer fluid. And you can kind of see the mark in there. So that's pretty much, uh, that's full. And battery looks good. I don't see any leaks. Nothing that appears to be loose. So that is... Your oil change is complete. And if you've ever had any type of vehicle, you always want to know where your mileage is. So peeking in this, I have 6,630 miles. And on a newer vehicle, I always go every 3,000, but you can go every, uh, every 5,000 miles, but we're going to go three. And I'll take my gloves off. I got these really cool check your oil frequently tags uh, on Amazon. These are a lifesaver. So you can write down your mileage, what you're going to need. So we are at 6,006789. We're going to write down 9,000 as when the next oil change is due. And then you put down your 520 for your oil grade. And then your service date. So this is the end of December. So we'll go January, February, March. So we'll go 322, and that's a cool little tag. And make sure you use your uh, your extreme Sharpie markers, fade resistant, when you're writing your tags out for your car. And then when I get in there to move it, what I basically will do is I'll put it right up here. Let me show you. So this is the old one. So I take that tag down, and then this new one, and it's not an adhesive. It's basically kind of like a uh, a static film. So once you get it up there, and I just put it up there, and then that's your uh, check your oil frequently label. So it works out great. Anyway. And that is your quick and easy oil change and your tire rotation on your 2021 or 2022 Bronco Sport. Make sure that you torque your wheels, which I'm going to do now. So we're going to bring this all the way down on the ground. Then basically you take your torque wrench and your socket and then you torque it out to your whatever your manufacturer recommends for torque settings on your boat bolts, your lug nuts. So that's good there. And we'll go around the back. 
and on the torque wrench you set it to your pound adjustment and you basically just go until it clicks and that's when you know you have your lug nuts whatever in your car torqued properly All right, so that's everything. Uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching. Be safe out there and enjoy your Bronco sport.